Here we have four shuttles, Feather, Yonex AS50, Mavis 500, Mavis 2000, supposedly the best nylon shuttle on the market so far, at least from Yonex. Then we have the Bird 2. To test the four shuttles, the first thing I'm going to do is look at the recovery time, meaning how fast the shuttle stabilizes after being hit. In the past, I've noticed some shuttles, especially the nylon ones, wobble or tumble more than the higher end feather shuttles, making it really hard to control net shots and serve return and doubles. The second thing I'm going to look at is the shuttle flight pattern and speed. For this test, the baseline is going to be the AS50 shuttle, since that's currently the one used for international play. The nylon shuttles will be judged if they're faster, slower, or have a different drop pattern. And the last thing I'm testing is the durability. I'll use smash and heavy slice drops to see how quickly each shuttle breaks down. The Onyx AS50. The Mavis 500s. Those were the Mavis 2000s. AS fifties. Bird two. Mavis 500. Mavis 2000. Across the feathers. 
those really damage the birds the most. And so I'll do a test with uh, those particular shots and see how they hold up. Yonex AS30 Feather Shuttle. Davis 500, 10 minutes smashing. Mavis 2000. Bird 2. Definitely the new Yonex AS30 feather shuttle has considerable wear. Every single one of the feathers is frayed. Maybe half a feather is gone. I'd say maybe five more minutes smashing is totally on Mavis 500. Me and my training partner noticed that it was a little bit slower than the other three birdies. Even though it kind of weighs around the same weight as the other ones. The plastic looks pretty much intact. I don't see any breakage, any part of the plastic. It looks like it's new. Next one, Mavis 2000. This one I see small little cracks on the plastic here. Very small. Um, maybe in about five or six places. Other than that, it looks practically new. The Bird 2. Same thing with the Mavis 2000. It has finer little flutes and nettings here. So those are looking like they're going to break a little bit. I see maybe three or four of them broken. But I didn't really notice any change in the flight of either the Bird 2 or the Mavis 2000, despite the small breakages in the plastic. AS-30 Feather Shuttle. Mavis 500.
Mavis 2000. Mavis 500. Two breaks on the upper ring here. Here. And here. Mavis 2000. Center part of the skirt looks still intact. All the damage seems to be at the tips here, which makes sense because I was doing heavy slices. See the breakage here occurs at the tips and these little, little fine netting here. Still, structurally maintained around the center in the middle here. It looks like to me that the breakages are going deeper and deeper into this netting gradually. Maybe one or two up near the top and then starts to go in deeper and deeper. But still seems to hit all right. Still flies okay. So this experiment cannot be done without the Reasonable assistance of my training partner here, Tommy. The one thing I've learned playing with Tommy is that he's too good of a training partner and he keeps hitting it back. <laughs> so you don't have a chance to catch your breath. Right? What are you talking about? That's what you did to me. <laughs> so here are my final thoughts after doing all these tests. While the shuttles were getting smashed during the durability test, I noticed the feather shuttles degraded down differently from the plastic ones. The feather shuttles began to wobble more in flight and this became more noticeable on the clears. They were still able to orientate themselves quickly after being hit, meaning it was still easy to do those net shots and low serve returns. The plastic shuttles, however, were the exact opposite. When they began to break down, recovery time got a lot worse, meaning the shuttle started spinning more uncontrollably at the net. The mid-air flight was still good though, especially on the Bird 2, and the spin was easy to see on clears. This makes me think that the shuttle recovery time has more to do with the distribution of weight rather than the shuttle feathers themselves. This is something I'll have to look more into in future uploads. As far as the question of whether synthetic shuttles are as good as feather ones, to me they aren't, at least with respect to consistency in flight. The feather shuttles are still the best, at least the higher end ones are. Synthetic ones just aren't as good, especially with the recovery time, which really makes control at the net difficult. What the synthetic shuttles do have are durability, and a lot more than feathers. I'd say at least, at a minimum, five times more. Even when they get damaged, they're still playable, unlike the feather ones. Of all the synthetic shuttles, the Bird 2 is the best in my opinion. The Mavis 2000 has a slightly better recovery time than the Bird 2 and Mavis 500, but it's still nowhere as good as the feather shuttle. If you're looking for a superb flight, then the feather shuttles are still the ones to go for. For synthetic shuttles, the right flight speed and durability are the shining qualities, and that's why I think the Bird 2 is the best. The Bird 2 also has a really nice feature in that it can easily be seen because of the black and white skirt sections, kind of gives it a built-in color contrast. So you can easily see it in a multi-purpose gym with a lighter color background. For me, the next best synthetic shuttle is the Mavis 2000. It's got the right speed and flies slightly better, but you just won't get as many games out of it. The Mavis 500 is a decent shuttle, but the extremely slow speed just kind of kills it for me in my opinion.